Welcome to The Bold Encourager. I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get my positive, encouraging messages out to everyone. So today we're going to be doing a food review on cheeses from Trader Joe's. And we'll be doing the tasting from our charcuterie board. I hope I'm saying it right. So let's get started. So the first cheese we're gonna taste is Toscano with black pepper. It says Toscano cheese with black pepper. So let's give it a try. So it has a little bit of black pepper on the outer layer of the cheese. So it has kind of like the, the texture of when Parmesan is shaved. It's very kind of flaky. It's a little bit more drier but it's really good and I really enjoyed this. So I'm gonna give this a 7.8. I love cheese and I love kind of like a fine cheese. This is really good. So 7.8. Now I'm gonna try the Italian truffle cheese and I love truffles so I'm excited to try this. It has a very strong truffle taste and I love that. And it has kind of the texture that this cheese has. It has kind of that shaved Parmesan type of uh, feel to it. A little bit more kind of flakier and drier. Very good. I like this a little bit more than this one. So I would give this one an 8.3. Really, really good. <laughs> Next cheese we're going to try is Cambazola three cheese ripened soft cheese and it's more like a texture of brie I think it's kind of like a brie but it's supposed to be like a three cheese and it it's supposed to have kind of like a blue cheese flavor I definitely say there's a hint of blue cheese just a little bit but it's mostly brie and it's really good I love brie so <laughs> I'm gonna give this one though. It's not my favorite out of the three. It's probably, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, but it's real, really good. So I'm gonna give this a 7.6. So now let's try combinations now that we've rated the cheeses. And it's a lot of fun to put a charcuterie board together. <laughs> I loved it, it was a lot of fun. It makes you feel a little creative and it's great for your guests when you come over and you can kind of do whatever combinations you want. So. Let's first start off with what we know is like the normal combination. So it would be a cracker and we have all these meats. We got salami, we got um, prosciutto and we got capicola. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this black pepper one on and then I'm going to put the salami on there. Maybe cut it in half or tear it in half and give that a try. I would definitely say that is a very good combo with the black pepper cheese, the salami and the cracker. It would still rate high for me. I would give that a little higher than the 7.8 that I gave it just because it added a little more flavor with the meat. Let's give it an 8.1. Now let's go on to my favorite cheese along and then put the truffle cheese on top with the salami. I would give that an 8.5. Yeah, it just stepped up a notch because of course when you add meat, it just gives it a little bit more to it. So that definitely was a good combo. Now let's finish off with this cheese with the salami and the cracker. Okay, so that was really good. I'm going to rate that as 7.8 with the meat. Of course it steps it up, <laughs> alright? So let's move on. Let's do it with the apple. Apple gives it more of a sweeter kind of taste to it. I wanted a little bit of tart though, so I went with the green apple. Now it might have been a little bit different with a sweeter apple, but let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to take this cheese, add it to the apple, and I'm going to wrap it in prosciutto. 
There's a hint of sweetness to it, a little tart, a little cheese, but I would not say that it stepped it up. For me, it almost like took away a little bit from the flavor of this particular cheese. Like I couldn't taste it as much. So because it took away a little bit of the flavor, I might even like make the score to go down for this combo. I would say it would go down to a 7.6, originally 7.8, because it took a little bit of the flavor away. Now let's try it with this cheese. Now we're gonna try it with the truffle cheese and the apple and the prosciutto. Truffle is still there, still really good. Truffle still overpowers it. And you can taste a little bit of tartness from the apple. So we're gonna give it a little bit more uh, to the score and we're gonna give it an 8.3. So yeah, the truffle flavor is still there, so good combination. Now let's go ahead and do the brie um, cheese because I feel like honestly like I felt like brie would be the one that would probably complement it the best with apple just because it, it has a little bit of the blue cheese flavor to it and sharp tastes pretty good with sweet definitely a good combo I'm gonna give this an 8.1 I definitely think it stepped it up a notch with the apple okay so now we're gonna try tomato with the capicoli and the cheese capicola <laughs> sorry we're gonna wrap it like a sandwich and you can really do all kinds of combinations with this well you still can taste that cheese and the tomato gives it a little bit of juiciness with the meat I'm gonna give this an 8.2 really good gave it a step up for sure so let's move on to my favorite cheese the truffle cheese and then you know what, Capicoli, Capicola has kind of like that peppery taste to it too, um, with that seasoning in the middle, so it's all good to me. Sorry, I'm making a mess here. That's a really good combination. You can still taste the truffle. You can still you have that juiciness from the tomato with that, that particular meat is so good. I'm going to give this an 8.6. Really good. I mean, wow, right? Wow. So let's go on and try the last cheese with the tomato and the capicola. So this one was good, but it wasn't as good as the other ones because it was juicy. But since this is a little bit more creamier with the tomato and the spiciness, it kind of didn't really as much complement it as the other ones did. So I'm going to give this a little step up, and that's 7.9. 7.9, still very good, but not quite as high up as these two were with the tomato. Okay, so there you have it. My ratings for my combinations I put together on my charcuterie board. I hope you're inspired to make your charcuterie board and get crazy creative with your combinations. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, please comment down below if you're going to make a charcuterie board and do some awesome combinations just like I just did. Also, comment down below what your favorite combination is that you want to try. Also, comment down below if you'd like me to do more food reviews like this. I'd love to hear from you or if there's any type of other food reviews you'd like me to do or recommend to me. If you haven't followed me on social media, please go ahead and follow me on social media. I'm at The Bold Encourager on Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, and of course, YouTube. I'm also on MeWe, and it's at Rebecca Mooney there. All the links will be down below. Every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will post a new fun video, so you do not want to miss them. So go ahead and hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Well, I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope you stay encouraged.